Hey there, my name is Sage, and you are watching D&D Daily. Today I'm doing a blind stat block reading of the Witherbloom Pledge Mage from Strixhaven's Curriculum of Chaos. The Witherbloom Pledge Mage is a medium or small druid of any alignment. They have an armor class of 12 or 15 with vociferous form. They have 66 hit points and a movement speed of 30 feet. They have a plus 0 to strength, plus 2 to dex, plus 1 to con, plus 2 to intelligence, plus 3 to wisdom, and plus 0 to charisma. They have proficiency in constitution and wisdom saving throws, as well as the medicine, nature, and perception skills. They have immunity to poison, and they're immune to the poison condition. They have a passive perception of 17, and they speak common in any two languages. They have a challenge rating of 4, and a proficiency bonus of plus 2. Our first ability is regeneration. As long as the Pledge Mage has at least one hit point, the Pledge Mage regains 5 hit points at the start of its turn. Next up is Verdant Talisman. At the end of a 10 minute long ritual, the Pledge Mage can touch one wheeling creature, including itself, and bestow upon it a small talisman imbued with vitality magic. Upon receiving the talisman, the creature gains 10 temporary hit points, and it can add 1d6 to its initiative rolls while it wears the talisman. These benefits last for one hour or until the Pledge Mage conducts another ritual to bestow another talisman. When the benefits expire, the talisman crumbles to dust. Moving to our actions, we have Briar Vine, a melee spell attack with plus 5 to hit, a reach of 15 feet. It hits one target, and on hit, it does an average of 8 piercing damage, plus 18 poison damage. If the target is a large or smaller creature, the apprentice can pull it up to 10 feet closer to itself. We come with spell casting, and at will we can cast Druid Craft and Spare the Dying. Once a day, we can cast a Death Ward, Pass Without Trace, and Speak with Plants. We come with a new bonus action called Vesivorous Form, which we can do once a day. The Pledge Mage transforms into an avatar of plants and shadow. While in this form, the Pledge Mage adds its wisdom modifier to its AC if it isn't wearing armor or isn't wielding a shield, and it has advantage on attack rolls against any creature missing hit points. This form lasts for one minute or until the Pledge Mage is reduced to zero hit points. And finally, we have our reaction Wither Burst. When the Pledge Mage sees a creature within 30 feet of itself drop to zero hit points, the Pledge Mage channels the expended life essence and targets another creature it can see within 30 feet of itself. The target must succeed on a DC 13 constitution saving throw or become poisoned for one minute. While poisoned in this way, the target takes an average of 3 poison damage at the start of each of its turns. The target can repeat the save at the end of its turns, ending the effect on itself on a success. Out of all the Pledge Mages, this one is the most similar to its Apprentice form. So if you haven't seen the Apprentice video, go watch that because most of the tactics are covered there. The only difference we have here is Vociferous form speak with plants, and death ward. The biggest of those is going to be the vociferous form, which we're absolutely going to want to do at the beginning of combat. There's no reason not to. It gives us bonus AC, increasing our tankiness, as well as giving us advantage on people who have already been damaged, which, because we're ambush attackers, is almost going to be everyone always. So it's really strong, really good. Speak with plants might be something to be used to get plant allies but honestly that's just the dms you know that just tells me that we could run this combat encounter as a druid off in the woods alone and now we have some plant allies to come with death ward is a half decent escape tool which we notably were missing beforehand so it does cover our, our weakness a little bit though not a lot at the end of the day this is just the apprentice plus boosted stats vociferous form maybe a utility spell or two but don't let the similarities dissuade you. I think it's still really good. This has been the Blind Stat Block reading of the Witherbloom Pledge Mage. We are D&D Daily. We release new D&D content every single day, so if that's interesting to you, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow.